Okay, increasing turbo boost often requires increasing fuel supply. So, as most people know, I've already added a boost controller and a gauge, and I'm pushing about 1.4 bar, but I think my fuel supply is a bit lacking. So I'm going to give it just a little bit more. I've already got the diaphragm turned up. I didn't want to turn it the full 180 as a lot of other people do uh, without testing it first. So it's tested and I think I probably do need 180. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Uh, there's the, the diaphragm is underneath here. So you undo these four bolts. First you undo the four bolts for the intercooler, obviously. You lift that up, put something underneath to hold it. And then undo these four bolts and the diaphragm's underneath and you just turn it uh, clockwise. So that's what we're gonna do. So again, my boost seems to be maxed out at around 1.4 bar, which is about 20 PSI. Um, try and get some of this stuff out of the way. So water temperature gauge that no longer works. Okay. Probably should probably should have cleaned that first. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it is what it is. Okay, so we pull that off. Set it gently aside on something that's not too dirty. And there's the diaphragm. Now there's a mark there. You can see that letter O. So this has already been turned, actually maybe not as much as I thought. I think it's only been turned maybe 100 degrees. I think normally the O sits here. So that would mean that that's about 90 degrees, maybe a little more. So I'm gonna turn it probably another quarter turn, uh, or one eighth turn. I don't think I'm gonna go a quarter. So I'm gonna put it to about 100 and maybe 20, 130 degrees uh, clockwise. In fact, I'm just gonna put it like that. So now, it's basically pointing towards the screw hole uh, to that bottom right corner. So that gives me some calculation of position. So I'm gonna test drive it there now. Actually, maybe I'll just give it a little bit more. <laughs> just go a little bit past that hole. I don't know. So that looks like about 100 and uh, now it's probably about 150, maybe, well, maybe 160 degrees, something like that. So we're gonna run it there and see how much boost uh, that gives um, I may have to start using the boost controller. If it goes past 1.5, I don't feel too comfortable up there with this old intercooler as I don't want it to explode. So until I get an upgraded intercooler and some silicone hoses, I'm probably gonna keep the boost uh, no more than 1.5 bar. All right, let's put it back together. Okay, it's back together now, so I'll just put the bolt the intercooler back on, take it for a test drive and see what power we have. So let's go for a test drive. 